Welcome to the IPXZ boot demo of Cisco NCS5000 and NCS5500 routers. IPXZ is a pre-boot execution environment that is embedded into the router and works at the BIOS level. It is a pretty cool feature which we can use to reimage the system, boot the router in case of a boot failure or in the absence of a valid boot partition. In this demo, we will install and configure Apache Web Server and DHCP server to perform the disaster recovery of NCS5000 router. We will perform the disaster recovery using IPXZ. The disaster recovery via IPXZ boot process is the same for NCS5000 and NCS5500 series platforms. The topology for this demo has the NCS5000 router connected to a Ubuntu server via layer 2 switch in response to a pixie boot request by the ncs5000 router ubuntu server will provide the ncs5000 router an ip through dhcp and also it will provide the path of the ios xr image to boot from for this demo we have apache server hosting the ios xr boot image let's start with the installation of apache web server Let's go to the root directory of web server and create a directory for iOS XR 6.0.0 image. In that directory, copy the NCS 5000 iOS XR boot image. Start the web server and verify that the HTTP path to the iOS XR file is available via the web server. Next, we will install the DHCP server. After the installation of the DHCP server, let's edit the dhcpd.conf file to provide the information such as subnet and range from which the IP addresses will be assigned to the NCS5000 router. Also provide the file name of the ISXR boot image. This file name is the complete path of the web server from where we will download the file. Save the file and exit and restart the DHCP service for the changes to take effect. At this point, we have installed and configured the web server as well as the DHCP server. Our setup is now ready to perform the Pixie boot for the NCS5000 router. We'll now access the router via the console to boot the router. As we see, our router is stuck and we cannot access the ISXR prompt we'll have to perform a disaster recovery. There are two containers in the 64-bit version of iOS XR that NCS5000 and NCS5500 routers run. One is the XR container that has all the network and router configuration options. And the second container is the admin container, which is used for the administration of the router. Since our router is stuck and we have to perform the disaster recovery, we will use the admin console for recovery options. By pressing Ctrl O, we will gain access to the admin console or admin container. From the admin prompt, we will execute hardware module, location all, boot media network reload to reload the router for the network boot. If our router was not stuck and we had the access to the iOS XR container, from there, we would go to the admin prompt and perform the disaster recovery or image upgrade via Pixie boot. From our iOS XR prompt, we can go to the admin prompt by typing admin. From there, we can run the same command for the network boot, which is hardware module, location all, boot media network reload. This means we can use IPXZ feature not only for disaster recovery, but also for re-imaging the router and for zero touch provisioning. After we execute the command for the router to reload and perform network boot, the router will reboot twice. First time it will download the image from the Pixie server and boot from that image. Second time it will boot from the local disk based on the boot image the router has downloaded the first time. Let's now access the router and verify the image. We will execute show version to verify the image. 
we can see that the image version is 6.0.0. This was the image we used to pixie boot the router. Also, we will verify the software on the router is operational. For that, we will use show sdr command. From the admin prompt, we will verify both the ifsxr container and the sysadmin containers are running by executing the show vm command. Let's verify the platform status by executing show platform command. We can see from the output, the admin state for the hardware is up and it's operational. Finally, let's verify the FPD version of the hardware. As we can see in this output, the FPD versions are current. The version that is running is the same as the version that is programmed by the 600 image. If there was an upgrade needed, that we would have seen upgrade needed mentioned under the status. At this point, our router is running the iOS XR 600 image. This is the image we booted our router from where we did the IPXZ boot. The status of the router seems to be operational without any issues. Hope you liked the demo and thanks for watching.